Hey guys, just before we get into this Isaac episode, I want to say that I've just released an episode for a new series called Revita, which is a game that's just come out of early access into 1.0, and honestly, I think it's a great game that a lot of you will like. It's very similar to Isaac. It's a huge, huge game. It's very expansive, and I really want the series to do well, so please do check it out if you've got the time. It would really make my day, especially if you left a comment. Thank you very much, and let's get to the Isaac episode. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in again. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's randomise. We get Tainted Bethany. Do you know what? We did Tainted Bethany recently. I'm going to randomise again. And we get regular Lilith. Hell yes. Actually excited to play a regular Lilith. Still haven't got car yet. <laughs> excited to play a regular Lilith. Ooh, didn't I say I was going to play Zack? I think I did. I'll get round to Zack. He's, he's on his way. I'll get round to Zack. But ten, uh, normal Lilith is pretty fun because we have the... Um, Oh, hello. We have the old ability of adopting our tier effects onto, uh... Wait a minute. Do we? Whoa, there's a lot of errors going on there. One second. Lilith rework. Active trinket. Okay, we have both of them set to none for some reason. Gulped pocket. I want it as pocket. It's not going to start with it now, so we're just going to have to deal with not having it. I'm not quite sure why that wasn't enabled. Maybe uh, there was an update to change it to not be enabled by default, which is fine. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I kind of forgot that I've uh, that I've got Zack in the backlog ready to play. Um, ooh, hello. I got Zack in the backlog ready to play for the series. I haven't really played him yet, and I did say that I was going to a few days ago. It's kind of fine. Uh, we'll get around to him. He has, a, he has a, his own thumbnail art. Uh, coming as well, so I want to kind of make sure that's ready and everything. Um, but that should be ready pretty soon. So yeah, we'll be we'll be getting on. Ah, shit. We should be getting on with him pretty shortly. And like I said, I'm quite excited. I'm hoping we can get a bomb here because now that we've got your listen, we've got guaranteed secret room discovery, which is always nice. And yeah, hopefully we get some tier effects in this run to uh, hopefully demo the oh we get double uh yo listen i didn't even think about that um but hopefully we get some tier effects to demonstrate the sheer power that lilith can obtain now to be fair most times it doesn't end up being that big of a of a boon to your success it really depends on the tier effects that you get um and it also kind of depends on the familiars that you get as well as well of course incubus is always going to uh adopt those tier effects but we need stuff like Little Brim, um, Brother Bobby, stuff like that. Stuff that's going to shoot. Also, it's very funny game when you're like, ha ha, you wanted bomb, so I give you key. I do actually like having keys, um, contrary to popular belief, but oh my lord. Um, I think that this is, uh, oh my god. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Uh, and here's a, a really, really sort of, I don't know, I won't say weird, but here's a, a, a question of the day that I've just kind of thought of. Um, if you could be real life friends with a fictional character, who would it be and why? I actually, again, don't really have an answer like backlogged in my brain ready for this. I just kind of came up with this one, this one on the spot. Um, I'm going to try to give it a good think now because it's actually a very intriguing question. I've managed to stump myself. Uh, there's a lot of different people. A lot of different people that I could say here. Ooh, what the hell is that? Void of Gluttony. Repentance Plus. For seven seconds, if you lack red health, you will regenerate it while also gaining um, minus speed. The duration is extended by two seconds each time you kill an enemy. Potentially pretty useful. It kind of depends. Uh, obviously, we don't really have the red hearts to even support this yet. Um, so at the minute, it's, it's not very valuable. But I feel like later on, later down the line, if we like find a blood bank or something, it could be pretty good. Still, unfortunately, uh, not able to take advantage of our uh, little Yo Listen there. But Yo Listen's kind of an investment item, right? Right now, it's not very good. Oh, by the way, this is a horribly designed room. Um, I'm going to say horribly designed. It's just, eh, the pieces don't fit together very cohesively. Yeah, I was about to say, we're probably going to take damage. And there's another key. Just in case we needed one. Stigmata's pretty good. Um, a world card is also pretty good. And we also get a high priestess. That's also pretty good. Three good things in a row. Um, and we get how to jump, which is... It is a book. This is horrible. Oh, I'm going to take damage. Yep. This with Lilith is the worst. Yeah. Good for you, sir. I just wanted this to pick up a book. 
God damn it. That was awful. <laughs> to be fair, I'm just I'm just gonna say I was just trying to proc Cambian Conception. That's all. I was just trying to get procs on Cambian Conception. Nothing nothing wrong with that. We are gonna get a cube of meat here, which um, is decent. We could also end up getting starvation. Honestly, even though we have um the box of friends, I'd prefer starvation. Uh, that's actually an Ipecac item that, that um, Famine has in his pool. Which is a pretty cool idea. I like the idea of starvation being in the pool. And it's a genuinely very, very good item. Or at least it can be. It used to be absolutely garbage. Um, but now it's a lot better. Unfortunately, we did get Cuba Meat, though. I didn't even clock onto the fact that this was an XL floor. Um, I'm going to go and do... Oh, wait. No. I was going to say I'm going to go and do the other uh, thingies. But I'm actually going to go and do the boss fight and kill him instantly to get a devil deal. Ooh, of which I will go into, despite the very clear bad idea that this is. Um, unfortunately, it's not something we can grab. Mm. Risk the streak for Guppy's hairball. Yes. <laughs> you may be asking why. Just because. Also, go into this room and risk the streak as well, because this could also be very bad for us, depending on the rooms. Luckily, this one's not so bad. This one is, this one's potentially quite bad. These ghosty boys can go through walls. I still can't believe we've unfortunately not got a single bomb yet. Hopefully we get a soul heart in here. We did indeed. Very nice. Um, and we'll be on our way. Did we get a bomb in there as well? We didn't. Okay. Let's just go. Unfortunately, yo, listen, you have been a cutie, but slightly useless. I do not mind. I do not mind. So we're going to go down to the downpour now. Um, despite having not great health, I think downpour's okay. And I just, I'm trying to get a lead on Guppy. I haven't really gone for Guppy in repentance ever. So it's a, it's a, it, why not now? Why not now? But yeah, I'm still trying to ponder over an answer to my own question of the day here. And I genuinely am having a hard time. There is, there is a lot of people. It's like, there's, there's different people from TV shows and stuff. Like, I feel like Michael Scott would be pretty funny. But, like, that stuff feels kind of generic. Charmer the Vampire looking cute as all hell. Um, We should have maybe taken Punching Bag because it is a familiar. I'm going to play it hard and try and get a familiar. Milk doesn't count. Um, Ooh, Marked. Yep, I'll take Marked. I'll take Marked. Marked is a weird one, but I feel like it's pretty good. Just because it affects all of our familiars... Which right now isn't very good, but if we get more familiars, is potentially very good. It's a, it's a bit of a weird choice. I realise that. I but I actually quite like marked. I'm a, I'm one of those people. We've actually managed to amass a decent amount of familiars. It's just unfortunate that two of them are uh, sorry, three of them are almost completely useless when doubled. Uh, so we've actually got some bombs now. Finally, thank God you can turn marked off now. By the way, that is a blessing in disguise. Unfortunately, a bomb for three pennies is not the trade that we're looking for, but it is what we have got. We've got a crawl space by the looks of this here. And more bombs, good. I love the fact that it shows you crawl spaces. It's potentially very valuable. It's also potentially absolutely useless um, in situations such as the one shown here. My god. Um... Right, let's carry on. I'm going to just pop this now. I, I really don't like this, um, this, what's it called? I was going to say pill. Soul stone. I think it's pretty bad, but better late than never. Basically, you only really care about the poop slick. Everything else is just very minor. But obviously, as you can see, in a big room like this, almost useless. Plant a bomb there. I'm not going to go in there yet because that would ruin everything. Careful with this creep here. Yeah, this is kind of interesting. Also, does does that meat boy fire? I don't think he does, does he? He's just pulling weird faces for the sake of it. I can't remember. I think he fires, maybe? I don't know, I'm confused. <laughs> I might go straight for the boss here, although, I don't know, I'm kind of in the sort of space where I think I should use a bomb for the boss, but I've only got one bomb, so maybe not. I don't know, let's just go for it. Okay, it's Min Min. I think with our extra firepower here, Min Min's really easy. This is where Lilith, like, looks like a really easy character. And I think a lot of people will uh, do do say, and I will agree in some respects, she can be a very easy character. Um, 
And yeah, like I said, I do agree with that in some aspects. I just think her start is a little rough and she's just not that interesting. I, I just wish she was a little, she had a little something extra going on. So honestly, a uh, lump of coal, please. Obviously, Head of Krampus is completely useless for us. It's like I would like to maybe just make her... Do, do we want to be on the floor anymore? I don't think we do, do we? Um, yeah, I think we can just go. Uh, like, I would like to just make her active item a pocket item, but I really feel like that would be quite strong. Like, it's so integral to her kits that it's like you don't ever want to trade it away. You don't ever want to get rid of it, which makes it a perfect contender for a pocket item. But it's so powerful in her hands that making it a pocket item and letting, letting you have another active just seems too too good. Oh, by the way, uh, something I just want to quickly go over as well, um, while I have you here, <laughs> which is a stupid way of saying it because you're watching the video, you're always going to be here, um, is that Repentance Plus actually got an update recently and it, uh, it tweaked a bunch of things and it actually finally added the rest of the Tainted Hearts. I have to say, in my opinion, they're reasonably overpowered, um, as, as a lot of the, the Tainted Hearts have been. I'm not going to pass too much judgment until I've played with them and, and seen them, but my initial impressions are that they, they might be a little overtuned. Well, I, as I said, we'll, we'll see as we play, but we might be seeing a few of those. There's like the Miser Heart, the Dauntless Heart, the Baleful Heart. Um, and they, they do seem like really interesting ideas. They just seem a little too strong. I'm interested to see how stuff like the Soiled Heart is, is how powerful that is. That's a heart that uh, gives you w between zero and two dips every room you complete, but it's kind of like a, a Mortal Heart where if you get hit, uh, you lose it. Or a Zealot Heart, should I say. These guys are being particularly rough right now. But yeah, we'll, we'll see how many of them they end up getting. The, the developer did say they tweaked the chances um, of getting all of these various different hearts. So we might find that they're a bit rarer than normal. Ooh, we also got one of these guys, which I think is well worth playing for some uh, extra firepower. Because I believe these wisps do inherit our tier effects too. Nice. Extra wispies here. Yeah, as you can see, the uh, the wisps actually have red tears now. I think one of them's firing tri shot, right? Is that is that the wisp that's doing that? Beats me, but I like the idea. Um, ooh, we're probably gonna take damage in here, especially with marks. I had to put purposely stop firing there to make sure I didn't hit myself. And again, I love the fact that you can stop firing with marks now. And again, I don't know how these guys aren't dead yet. Oh no. That's an Enigma heart. That's that. That is a heart that used to just give you a full, um, a full heart container, and an empty one. But now it got reworked. Now they give you a, an extra life. But the it's an extra life the way you respawn on only half a heart. Uh, but you do keep all your heart containers. I think that's one of the contenders for one that's maybe a little strong. I think maybe it should remove at least a few heart containers and not let you keep all of them. But it's an interesting idea and it's definitely more thematic um, than uh, the just giving a heart container for the Enigma heart. It's a little better, I, I feel. But it's a shame that we can't actually get it. <laughs> it's over a gap. Ooh, $3 bill is a great, great contender for um, our familiars adopting our tier effects. Because now they are truly going to adopt our tier effects. Because we're going to have a, quite a lot of them. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, more bomb boys. Yes, I was hoping we'd be able to get that secret room there for free, considering we have no bombs. And in this one, I don't know if this is the one that gives you money afterwards, or if this is just a troll, where it's, yeah, it's just enemies, I thought it was. But at the minute, we are, we are doing really well. Okay, we got quad shot this time around. Being able to fire on an angle like this is really good for enemies in rooms like that there. Ooh, Champion Gertie. We got some uh, nine-inch nails here. Eight-inch nails, should I say? Oh my god! Careful. I just, I just love having the extra yo listen, especially in boss fights where it's literally useless. It's funny. Okay, we got Blood Clot. Very nice. And we move on to the next floor. I'm feeling really good about this run so far. It's a little basic. We've not got anything crazy going on. In fact, um, I, do, I, I just about said I don't believe we have anything modded. We have one modded item so far. It's a, it's a relatively vanilla run. This is something that I, um, I always find interesting with modded. When there's, there's like 
basically like a thousand new items. I don't know exactly how many is. I think it's like 700 new items that I've got in the uh, all the mods that I use. This is a hellish room because these guys just won't die. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's somewhere around like the 700 mark of new items. Something crazy like that. I, I, I don't actually know how many new ones it is. It might not even be that high. I might be fabricating a number there. But um, I, I always I always find it funny when you have runs like this where also Jawbreaker is a tier effect. So our familiars will adopt that too. Um, where, yeah, you have a run where you just don't seem to get any tier modifiers. How is this? Is that damage just freakishly low? Because like I feel like I'm firing at enemies for ages and they're just not dying. What the hell? <laughs> Just a key for five cent. Interesting little room there. But yeah, I'm hoping we can get one sort of guarantee familiar that isn't a wisp that's going to fire our tier effects. Because so far, we only have the second level Cuba Meat Boy, right? Really. I do not like the idea of this room. My god, yeah, I feel like we're like really weak or something. Also, yet another contender for a really bad room for Marked. Oh no, my wisp! Yeah, this is this is pure hell. Just open your face, please. Thank you. God damn! Oh, we got uh, another wisp. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot that the um, that the old wisp boy is kind of bugged. <laughs> I don't. I still don't know if it's a bug or if it's intended, but it definitely feels like it's a bug. It just. You can't ever lose your wisps. Like, you just... If one dies, you just get another one back. And you always have a permanent one wisp. Like, I just lost that wisp, and I should just get another one back. Yeah, there you go. Got a new one back. I I think it's a bug. It just... It doesn't feel like it would be the intended behavior, in my opinion. This was bad. Yeah, oh, I almost got myself there. Small rock here. Nice. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's the intended behavior, just because... An infinite wisp seems a little strong for what I paid was like six cent. God damn it, that stupid. My, my health is not good right now. Stupid rock just got me. And I hurt myself on that spiked chest by accident too. I'm not doing well right now. Well, it's always a character that I that I I'm really bad with, and it, it mainly comes down to the fact that shooting with her is not easy. Taking marked is definitely probably uh, hurting my chances, but I don't shy away from bad items for the most part. I, I kind of like taking what people would consider bad items. It might get me in a in a spot of trouble every now and again, but I do enjoy it. Really, not. Not particularly what I was looking for in this situation here. Good. Are these little babies gonna fly at me. Yep, they are. Mom's angry now. Mama's angry. Hello, sir. I probably should be using my space bright item a little more often as well. Something that I'm not really doing right now. Okay, good amount of money. We got some fire right there. Oh, three dollar bill. I keep forgetting about that. Okay. These guys can be a little tricky. Just stay away from the fires, whatever we do. They fire herming shots. Oh my lord. Okay. Through we go. Through we go. Through, 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 through we go. I'll use it on this room just to speed things up a little bit. I'm just always fearful that I'm going to use it in the shop. Uh, the boss is going to be like right next to me. A slot machine. Ooh, the intruder. Now, I don't exactly know how this guy counts in terms of being a familiar. Does it only count as a familiar after we get hit? We got ourselves a two of diamonds. <laughs> we literally got back to the exact money we were on before we started pay uh, started using it to pay out. It's kind of funny. Again, we keep going through. I'm going to go to this other room over here first. I'm kind of intrigued by the shop right now, so... Hmm. This is a... Intriguing room. 
Oh, you see the skill. The skill. I got a Degas here. Do we have a curse right now? We don't have a curse right now. And we've already been hit on red health, so we're not protecting our devil deal right now. So I reckon we keep the Degas for the next floor. For one, to get a soul heart on the next floor, but also in hopes that we can clear a curse as well and protect our devil deal. Here's one of the new hearts. While held, will summon ghosts to attack enemies that you get close to. Each heart increases their damage and allows them to attack from further, further away. And as you can see, it covers my heart. Golden. This is an interesting room. Can't get that golden pill without flight. Um, yeah, so it covers a heart. We've also got whatever this is. Needle and thread. What? What does that do? Um, removes one broken heart and grants one heart container. Does it just grant one heart container if I use it? Okay. It only does it if you... Okay. Good to know. Only does it if you actually have a broken heart. Um... Yeah, so I, I gotta say, I'm pretty uh, intrigued by this Baleful Heart here. This is one of the ones that I thought might be a little overpowered, so I'm interested to uh, experience if it is or isn't. I do wonder if our intruder shots are uh, benefiting from our tier effects, but you can see there's Purgatory Ghosts going after this guy every now and again. There was only I've only had one go after him so far. There's some range up there. No Devil Deal here, so we go down. Yeah, this is one that I thought would be a little overpowered, and so far it's not seeming to be so. Um, we do not have a curse, but I'm going to pop this anyways, because I would like to protect my devil deal. Um, and I don't want to go to the big rooms yet, if plausible. It does seem like we're getting extra control. Ooh, familiar's move with the player's movement input. How does that even work right now? Is this changing anything, really? It does make it a little easier to work with uh, to work with our familiar, but I'm not that bothered. Binge eater. Boy, that's very good. I will also play out these. It seems like, um... It seems like keepers count as enemies, by the way. These dudes here. Because, like, if we stand here... We're spawning ghosts, even though there's no enemies. <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll, I'll report that as a bug if you don't already know about that. Got ourselves a pill. I'll take it. Tears up, HP down. The HP down's pretty rough, but we did just get binge eater, so I'm not going to fret. Really. Okay, I didn't lose my Baleful Heart, surprisingly. I thought I would. I thought it was on hit I'd lose it, but... Maybe you've got to lose a full heart to lose it. Foil cards appear more often. I didn't even think foil cards were in the game anymore, so I'm not exactly sure what that does. Oh no, I, th I think th I think they are still in the game, they just got reworked. Please just, just start shooting me, please. Thank you. We got dinner or magic fingers. Definitely want to have dinner here. Yeah, Binji is a great pickup for us. Good, good. I'm gonna check out the shop because I'd like to buy HP if I can. We also have got a chest here. Wasn't expecting that. Um, Wheel of Fortune. On this. Or should I say, hope for enough money. Champion belt or supper? Tears and luck. I'd rather take supper for the tears and luck. I honestly would. And obviously the HP it gives too. We're pretty survivable now. But yeah, it seems the ghosts are maybe a little too common. Not crazy amounts. It seems the range at which they start spawning might be a little generous too, but... I don't know, maybe not, because we're not getting any now. Okay. Lost our wisp again. Actually, losing our wisp is a good thing, because we can cycle until we get a good wisp. We can, like, wait until we get something really powerful. Because, like, one of the ones that I'd like is the, the, the smell of wisp. 
because that's going to give us a trinket, which could be good. Uh, or like the red key wisp, which can actually generate red key rooms uh, on room clear, stuff like that. This room's a bit hetchy. Okay, we're good to go. Oh, oh shit, I didn't even realize that was a ghosty boy. So we did lose our Baleful Heart now. It is gone. So it seems that it fully covers a heart, and once you fully lose that heart, it's then gone. Which is not how I thought it worked, but it's still interesting to note that it do that's how it does work. Right, pop in here. We got that, or dinner. I think I'm just going to take dinner. Tears and shot speed. Sounds good to me. Okay. You're a little more tricky, but I got you. But we got another weird... What the hell wisp is this? I do not know this wisp. Oh, there's two things in here, apparently. Crawl space and all. We got the double. The both of them. And we got a black market, which could be intriguing. Black markets, I've, I've seen a few that are not so good. Got a rotten heart backs in here. Oh, wait, no, this is amazing. <laughs> I just realized how good this is. So there's nothing we actually want here. So let's go. I mean, jetpack is pretty good. Let's take the jetpack at least. And the rest of these is just free stats. Yeah, with Binge Eater, these are, uh, these are pretty nutty. <laughs> I didn't really think about how good they'd be. But yeah, um, little bit of additional stats. Obviously, our speed is suffering from, uh, from Binge Eater. And obviously, the jetpack was also a speed down. Ooh, the champion version of these guys look awesome now. That's so cool. But yeah, we just got a ton of stats, so... I ain't gonna complain. I'm loving $3 bill, by the way. $3 bill right now is my best friend. I did see my, uh... My year listen point at a wall over here. I see, I see. Oh, I don't have any bombs. <laughs> I'm just, like, jamming myself into a wall, realizing, oh, wait, I can't do anything with that. Still no extra guppy items, unfortunately, but we do have a 100% devil deal this floor and a way to protect it, so... Just hope. We are doing a lot of damage. We're firing these extra teeth shot off as well, which is kind of crazy. We're meant to be doing mother. I, I didn't even notice... I didn't even... I wasn't paying attention at all. Um, Dark Prince's Crown is just literally impossible to actually get. So I guess we'll just do the old uh, Binge Eater strat and take both of these. Slight speeds down, but... Stats up. I'm hoping we get a speed up from one of the bosses here at some point, because... We, we kind of do need to offset it. But yeah, so far this run, I'm keeping a, keeping an account. We've seen two of the Repentance Plus Hearts, which actually is, is a pretty decent ratio. And I wouldn't exactly say either one of them, especially, I mean, one of them we couldn't even get. But I wouldn't even say either one of them has, has um, especially changed our run a whole lot. It's not made our run too much more powerful. So, so far, I'm pretty pleased. Uh, like I said, I'll have to see with some of the other ones how they, uh, how they stack up. It, it really just comes down to how often they end up appearing. If, if they appear too often, they're going to be a problem. But so far, so good. Okie dokie. Right, we've got the boss boy here. Some extra bombs. Nice, nice. God damn, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm noticing the speed now. I am noticing the speed. The speed is pretty bad. I don't like having low speed. The damage is still slowly scaling down. I think this is a, a, a true, a true testament. This is a just evil room. Evil room. This is a true testament to Mark being good, I think. That makes it my opinion. Oh god, yeah, this is this is a, a room that just makes me say why. Dude, pop up your ass and let me shoot it. That's five times in a row he's popped up. Six times in a row he's popped up without showing his tail. Seven. 
Okay, seven times it took. Just a few. I'd say, in my opinion, that's a few too many. We got ourselves a broken heart here, which actually I will take right now. I'm not... I, the broken hearts are probably the biggest one in Repentance Plus that I'm not a fan of. Just be... Mainly because they're just potential annoyances if you accidentally pick them up. That's the main reason. And that it's, it's very easy to do so. Um, but they're not, they're not terrible. They're, they're, they've got their uses. They are, just, uh, they are also just a little bit strong. Because I think one... Broken Heart doesn't really make all that much difference to a run, but One Heart Container can make quite a lot of difference to a run. Because it's like Devil Deal trades and survivability, and yeah, there's, there's a lot of different reasons and uses over one Broken Heart. Like, reducing your maximum containers from 19, uh, from, from 20 to 19, or what, what is it? I don't, I don't actually know the actual number, but um, is it 10 to 9 maybe? isn't all that impactful over the course of a run, really, is it? Scratch your card. Scratch your card. Oopsie daisy. We failed the scratcher. I mean, going into Devil Deal is kind of hoping for, like, a twisted pair or something, but we've not been getting all that luck. We've had a few familiars show up, but none of them shoot, so... They're good, but they don't really work for what I'm aiming for right now. Which is a little bit sad. Oop, just a little bit. Oop, just a little bit sad. This room always annoys the hell out of me. Just just the bloody things in the corner. They're just there to waste your time. Just give me the central fellas and that's it. Got a Dawn Mick here as well. I think Dawn Micks need to be a little less common maybe. They're a little too common. Right, boss time. It is the big boy himself. Shouldn't have too much of an issue with him. He always manages to hit me once somehow, but hopefully this time that, that'll be different. Looking good. Yeah. Right. Obviously we want the uh, food here. And for this, ooh, okay. So for one, yes, thank you. We definitely want that. Piercing's very good. And I think false PhD's a good grab. No black heart that time. False PhD's a pretty good grab. Looking like we're coming out of the other side of this run feeling pretty clean. It's going well. It's going well. Good old Curse of Famine. Ooh, yes. I really like the, uh, so for the, for the sights, obviously the damage up's really nice, the piercing's even nicer, but honestly, one of the biggest things is the just massive tier size up. The tier size up is pretty impressive. It really helps a lot, especially when combined with the piercing. Tier size up without piercing don't mean all that much. Tier size up with piercing is incredible, and especially like how much of a size up. It's like a 50% size up pretty much. You make sure he is huge. That's a very bad uh, bit of walking by me there. That is a health down for a damage up. I will take it. Considering Binge Eater exists, I will take it. I don't know if that's a tinted rock or what. Well, I think it is a tinted rock. Oh my god, stop with this. I mean, I'm still going to get the uh, item, but god damn. Keep getting chests. Oh, we got Leech from uh, Camping Conception here. Nice. I kind of forgot we had Camping Conception. I always forget about Camping Conception, I'll be honest. Hello. Thank you, thank you. Will we do Hush this run? Probably not. I don't think we're... Like, uh, we're not We're not ill-fit for, um, for Hush, I don't think. I think we're actually pretty set for Hush. It's just, I think it'll be quite a long fight, and I tend to only like to do Hush if it's not going to take forever. Which I, I think it very much will take forever. Okay. I need to remember as well we got Fly. I keep forgetting. Because we don't like have visual wings. I keep forgetting. Although wait, do we have visual wings? I just saw wings then. What was that about? Oh, for some reason when we fly over an object, we gain wings for the rest of the room. Like visually. It's a very strange quirk of jetpack there. 
I don't think that's intended. I'd have to say it's probably not. Haha! <laughs> I just noticed intruders firing mini scythes. That's great. Gotta love it. Um, and we'll take out the devil deal, see what we get. Just take our uh, speed downs, HP ups, damage ups, stat ups, whatever. Devil deals are so good. I never even thought about how, like, OP. I wouldn't say OP, but how cra- Actually, it is OP. How OP um, Binge Eater is when combined with Devil Deals. I mean, I know Binge Eater is already a very OP item, but in combination with that, it's kind of crazy. And I'd never really thought about it before. Also, do not like not having mapping on these floors. That is quite tragic. Confessional. I think... I think we're going the right way though. Normally when you continue this many rooms forward without without there being a dead end, you're you're a, you're on a pretty good path. Hey, we got a giant cell heart, nice. Don't need the money, although the shortcuts I will take. This is a room that is unpleasant. <laughs> it's mainly because of this dude, the flying guy. It just produces so much shit. Like, the, the bony dudes kind of seek you out at least a little bit. Oh god, that was a lot of spiders. Okay. Right. We're on track. Hands incoming. No, thank you. That is not a trade I'm willing to make. Sorry. Oh, this is a dead end. Big sad. What's with all the heckin' spiders in all these pots? Clear out your pots, people. Why are they full of spiders? Yeah, so I may have gone the wrong way here, but this is a, a very long wrong way. If I have gone the wrong way. Which I think... Oh, wait, no, there is another door here. Okay. I thought there was no other door in this room. Oh, my God. I'm not going to call that a telefrag. I think that was just a foible of low speed. Still, upsetting. Upsetting nonetheless. Okay, should be boss next, like, two or three rooms, I think. We're kind of looping back around to the starting room, though, so this might just be a big loop. Crawl space, nice. Check it out again. Decent enough item. In fact, a pretty good item. I know it's only on taking damage, but if it's giving us speed, I need it. And there's a Joker. Okay, okay. Joker could be interesting. Okay. I think we take that. I think we take that. And I think we die. No, we should be able to uh, get quite a, quite a good amount going on on the next floor. Ooh, I didn't go to my room there. But this is the, what I'm sort of thinking. Marked plus Eye of the Occult. We've now got like a swarm that we can control. <laughs> like, <laughs> Marked Eye of the Occult is a really cool combo. I had to try it. Oopsie. Right, so I guess... We just... Our speed is going to be terrible. But I guess we just take all four HP upgrades from these unless the items are incredible. And I think we're good to take all the HP. Although maybe we take Scorpio. Let's take Scorpio. Look at that, that's so cool. Whatcha? Oh, what a combo. It's so cool. <laughs> little portal. You're funny, game. You're funny. No one would take little portal ever. Our speed is getting to drastically low levels, but. Oh, wait. Dead Eye? Hell yes. Um. When did we get to nine luck? <laughs> We've now got permanent. Um, I think it's permanent. Um, 
thingy tears. Teeth. And that's from our trinket, by the way. It's really funny when we don't have a head from the invader jumping off of us. Ooh, hello. I'd like more HP, thank you. But can't god damn our speed though. <laughs> I thought that crashed the game then. That took a a while to realize. Oh my god, this is so cool. More HP. This is so cool. Especially with the shot speed we have, we're able to keep them all like together really easily, like a really tight grouping. I like it. Ooh, Ghost Pepper with this amount of uh, luck is going to be pretty good. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> this is such a cool run. It definitely didn't start so interesting, but towards the end it's really started to kick up a little bit. <gasps> Soy milk. Hell yes. Oh. That is genuinely beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> Look at our HP as well. I was definitely right in the choices that I made this run, despite our speed being just impossibly low. Oh, this is so fun. I wish we'd have gotten this combo a little earlier, just so we could play with it more, but I'm still pretty happy with it nonetheless. It's a bit... I have to admit, I probably wouldn't even do Delirium if I got the option, just because of how laggy this is. But it is really cool. Like, look at the, sh the, the crazy shot speed as well. Oh my god. I think that maybe the extra fires were a bad idea. Oh, this is so cool. So, so cool. It's hard to tell when it's lagging and when I'm just moving really slowly. <laughs> oh my god, this is so... I can't believe it, I don't know why. This is just... This game still surprises me. <laughs> Done. We didn't even get the option anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed, especially that last floor there. A lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.